All right, I want to get this out there because I'm not going to have time to do this tomorrow, probably. But I am now halfway through The Way of a Dam. I am on page 208. There's about 450 pages, I believe. So I just finished chapter 11. So here are my thoughts on that. At first, um, I thought this was going to be something very recognizable. And in some ways, uh, some of the tone has been that. And there's going to be spoilers, uh, maybe some mild spoilers, uh, but uh, I'm not going to go into anything super, super detailed, but I will talk about maybe the magic system a little bit. There has been uh, a lot that I've liked about this, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I know I saw on Philip Chase's channel, I saw uh, a cover for the second book, which I think is coming out later this year. Um, very, very interesting. Now, there is stuff that is recognizable. You can see some influences, uh, that, that he would get stuff from, even though it is not necessarily like a lot of those books. But tone-wise, uh, it feels, at least to me, um, with my limited view of things, um, it feels a lot like something I would see in the 90s, something you might read in the 90s. Now, even though it has some of that feel, like there are these walled towns and there are these different factions and, and there's blacksmiths and there's different little races, there's uh, something, I mean, there's elves, but it's a little different, and uh, there are dwarves essentially which i just found which they aren't really dwarves but they kind of are dwarves right so you have some of that tolkien sort of uh influence at least it, it seems that way but the magic the magic is one of the things that i have found interesting it has very much to do with they they call it the gift and it seems like a lot of the big stuff going on, I don't, I don't especially understand it yet, but it's almost like this psionic thing, or, or everything's, uh, everything's mental. It's, uh, you know, I, I think of kind of the Force in Star Wars because I just introduced that to my kid. I think of certain people ha being gifted in this, in this force in this in this gift um and being able to almost uh mind meld i guess with with animals or other people there's this really cool scene at around the 100 page mark i believe uh where these people from the way of a dan this 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 religion that's what this the way of a dan is uh there's this I mean, I still don't even really understand it, but uh, it's this group of priests that they have all these priests all over the place. And this one priest in this scene is is kind of infiltrating the mind of one of these prisoners that they have. And not only is he doing that, it's actually having a real tangible physical effect on this person where it is kind of breaking into his mind but it all, it's also making him bleed and his head, head is like squishing like a grape sort of thing um some pretty wild stuff so that is something that i'm not super familiar with in a lot of other things um it, you know it, it may be in a whole bunch of things but i'm not really a, a fantasy reader uh at, at heart even though i've liked getting way more into it in the last few few years and and i would say that i do love fantasy but um you know my breadth of knowledge isn't huge in, in this realm but i think that is something that is different even though it has some of the vibe and the lightness you know it has your character that who seems like kind of the main character and uh kind of seems like he's gifted in a special way with this elf sleep sort of thing. And in a way that you see in a lot of these other quests, 
uh, these other fantasy books, especially some of the ones that come out of the 90s. Uh, they send him on this quest to go meet up with this person who can go help him develop or, or, or whatever, be, be part of a resistance against this way of a Dan or, 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 you know, everything. He's been exiled and now he's with his friend. He's on his way over to do that. So that's really cool. Um, I do feel like there are a lot of high notes in, in this book so far. Not a lot of wasted scenes of just journeys. Uh, it really goes from scene to scene to scene, which I do like that. A lot of people really kind of go heavy on, on philosophical musings in the journeys. And he does have some of that, but it isn't too heavy. Uh, which I don't, either way, I, I like. Uh, I don't mind some of that padding. But uh, since I'm in the middle of Malazan and stuff, it, it's nice to get to something where it seems like things are laid out uh, a little bit more clearly and not a lot of extra fluff. Really cuts the fat, which I, which I like. And really his strongest moments in this book are those those high moments um and if i had to say anything even though i'm not really a reviewer per se uh, i'm really looking at this mostly uh as someone who who wants to see all different kinds of writing styles and maybe some pitfalls uh even though uh you know i'm not finding a lot of of those here um but if i was to critique something something that kind of takes me out of the moment sometimes is uh a lot of descriptions in in moments like if i ever would maybe pinpoint things that would say aha this is his first novel it's it's in some of his descriptions but again i really like the scenes i really think the the dialogue is quite well done i think he has a good way of of establishing these characters and their motivations, which I like. Uh, another thing that I have found interesting, and right from the very start in the prologue, it was about this way of a Dan, this religion or cult or whatever we find. And I like that I still don't really understand what is up with these guys. I don't understand if this is a... a kind of if this is a, a religion that has become corrupted or bastardized I don't know maybe what it was in its early days and it sounds like a lot of these people don't know either it seems like some people use it for as a cudgel and some people follow the way uh, or, or entered the way out of necessity but some people also, it seems like, entered it uh, because they see some things that are maybe worthwhile in sharing, even though uh, it kind of goes against how other people would use it. I, I don't know if that totally makes sense. But uh, the fact that I'm not exactly sure what to make of, of, of Edan itself, like that really is the centerpiece for me right now. Um, when I put the book the book down, I think I wonder I wonder how I'm going to think about this way of a Dan by the end of the series, because there are definitely a lot of seeds being planted. There are seeds that seem like okay, this is a big, uh, z uh, you know, a, a fanatical group. Anyone in this way seems like fanatics, fanatic martyrs. Um, but it seems like sometimes we have people that are a little more nuanced who are also followers, but kind of through this other way. Um, and I might, I might be reading into things. I, I tend to kind of go down some roads of, of what I think uh, it may be. And be, the, I think the reason I do that is because I'm constantly thinking, how would I do this? If I was at this moment writing this, where would I go with this? And clearly, you know, it could go a whole number of ways, but um, sometimes I do that to a fault and I, and I'm, and I take it away. Uh, I, I start to forget what I have read 
and what I've just theorized. So, but I, I'm I'm interested. I'm interested in this. So I'm halfway. Uh, still don't know where it's gonna go. I I'm sure a lot of these seeds that have been planted in this first in this first book. Uh, we'll get some kind of conclusion, but it seems like a lot of what I'm excited to see won't really blossom until the second book. Not saying that this first book uh, won't have won't have satisfying con conclusions and things like that. I think it will, and I've enjoyed the journey. I've liked this uh, Sequarl. Oh, what was her name? We only got her early on for a chapter and then we got her later on and she has a very interesting kind of story arc uh, or storyline so far but we're just not seeing much with her yet and and I'm dying to get more of her storyline even though the center of the story is with this day raven and his buddy this Im Imhar or Imhar or whatever. Uh, we have a couple interesting priests from the Way of Adan. Uh, jo uh, what was his name? It's not Jorand or Jotun or something like that. Uh, and then another one who starts with an A. It's not Aaron. I'm terrible with names. Uh, but very interesting. I'm, I'm very interested in the different elements or the different priests that are within this Way of uh, especially, um, I wonder if that kid who was killed at the start was killed because he was al also one of these ones with the, with the gift. Now I am at the moment in the book and this is spoilers. I mean, a lot of this is probably spoilers, uh, but I am at the point where they were running to this crossroads in the rain. Uh, I'm trying to get a, you know, get a, get towards this. Gerund or it's not it's not Gerund. Jotun. Get what the heck. What the heck was his name? Um. Anyway, the guy that's gonna help him out. Uh, and I love, I love, I love the magic system. I love that this lady, this Urd, Urn. Oh man, I'm doing terrible. It must be getting late. Uh, kind of puts this message into this bird to fly out to this person that they're going to to kind of give them a little bit of give them a you know a heads up that they're on their way. At least that's how I read that. Kind of implanting these memories and things into it, which I think is very cool. I I'm interested to see what other ways that is is implemented so I'm at the point where they've just caused some they've just gotten into the middle of this trouble and they are being sidetracked they've just got roped into this other company uh, and uh, I don't know where it's gonna go with that don't know where it's gonna go with that or if we're only even going to get to where we thought we were going to go in in this book it might not be until the next book now that I'm thinking but who knows? Anyway, uh, really enjoying it so far. Uh, I, I think, I, I imagine I'll be done, actually, probably this week. Uh, maybe even by, by Saturday, and I'll have a full kind of review. And, uh, or, or just some thoughts where I think it's going. Uh, and uh, my recommendation, or, or, you know, I try to, do a recommendation for every book and find who I think it would be for and so far I found it has been uh, enjoyable enjoyable so I'm looking forward to and if you've if you've watched this far have you read this book uh, or are you thinking of reading it I think it's interesting uh, uh, yeah I just think it's interesting to find some of the influences as well influences as well that he has seem to be uh, drawing upon. Anyway, I'm rambling now and I got to go to bed. So I'll talk to you soon.